Well, good afternoon from sunny Florida. This is Sharon from Inky Spirits. Today I am going to be doing some ceramic tiles. Um, I started videoing earlier and then I realized I forgot I was taping and had a conversation with the neighbors. The UPS guy came. Um, so um, I got two of my coasters done and they're over there drying. So this was the first one. Let me go ahead and show you real quick. So this is the first one. It's got a beautiful pearl shimmer to it. And I'll show you the colors I'm using. So that's over there drying. And then this is the second one. So this is the second one. I'm super happy with this one. This is my favorite so far. So look at that. And believe it or not, I am only using two colors and then my base color. Now, I will say, since I didn't go through the steps um, initially, as far as preparing, I will tell you a little bit about um, what I'm doing uh, up to this, this point. I have these ceramic tiles with the gloss on it, and it has a gloss finish. Um, you can get them at uh, Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, I usually get them in, online, but however, you know, you can get them from your local hardware store, very cheap. So um, they have the little indentions on the back. A lot of people tape off the back of their coasters. I do not. Um, the majority of this will be covered with a cork backing. And I like it when it has the color on the back. Uh, whether it's my base color or some of the the color that's going on it but I like it with a little bit of color on the edges so I do not tape it off so um, you take the ceramic tile and then the first thing I do is I wipe them down which I've already done with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol um, and that gets rid of any um, oils um, dirt substance anything that might be clinging to the tile it will clean it off so and it will help the paint adhere to the tile better if it's nice and, and clean of any debris and oils okay so i'm going to go ahead and finish up i'm going to do these last two tiles so a little bit about myself um, my name is sharon i'm from florida um, i'm in the central west coast um, near clearwater area and i have been doing um, different crafts um, majority of my life uh, my family does a lot of homemade stuff uh, costumes and such and um, during the pandemic, um, during the downtime, my sister and I did a lot of craft stuff. Um, we do a lot of um, different crafts. And I started and I fell in love with alcohol inks. And I do a lot of alcohol ink art, mostly flowers. Um, so that is my first passion. And I've been doing that for a um, little over a year. And then um, I was watching YouTube when I was learning the alcohol ink and I saw an um, alcohol ink artist that also did um, acrylic paints and there's several of them that do both. Um, so I thought, God, that looks like a lot of fun. So I dove in. So, and there, I watched tons and tons and tons of video and it's very overwhelming because there are so many different techniques you can do when it comes to, to acrylic paints. So, I love doing the coasters, the jewelry. I love doing pours. Um, so I just, you just gotta pick the one that you like the best and stick to it and do what, you, what, what, whatever you do, have fun doing it. And I really have a lot of fun doing the coasters and the jewelry, um, different techniques on the, the pours. Or if you get into acrylic paint pouring, there are so many different techniques and you're going to want to try all of them. <laughs> so some you'll be really good at, some you'll struggle at, but practice or pick, um, pick one that you're really good at and just, and the one that you have the most fun with. And that's probably the most important. I love Dutch pours, um, and I love flip cups. So, um, but I, I kind of tried different ones. So, um, the paints I'm using today, to get back to what I'm doing here today, um, I've only been doing the acrylic paint pouring 
uh, maybe six months, if that. I don't even think it's been that long. And I started my YouTube channel to kind of videotape my journey learning the acrylic paint pouring. So with that, I am also bringing in um, the alcohol ink world and the craft world. So I'm hoping to, to get my YouTube channel um, going in uh, more videos. So I'm brand new. There's uh, probably six videos right now. So I got to grow it. And by growing it, you get more videos up and you get hopefully get more followers and subscribers. So today of those tiles I just showed you, um, hi, um, I'm, I'm just using two colors plus the base. So my base color is a black and this is uh, Color Place uh, by Walmart. Um, before it became scarce and hard to find, I bought a few gallons. So I'm still working on that. So um, I do have that as my base. And, and the simple two colors, that's it. And you'll see it turns into more colors. You start with two and it turns into multi-colors. So I will tell you a little bit about this paint I just started using. Um, a wonderful acrylic paint artist and musician, I might add, um, with a beautiful voice, um, mixed media girl. Definitely look for her on YouTube. Um, she has a lot of tutorials um, for beginners and um, different techniques. She does different techniques too. And she came out with her own line of paints. So I am one that likes to find paints that are already ready to pour because when you're first starting out with this medium, you will see that everybody has a different um, recipe for pouring mediums that you would mix with your colors. So I find it as a beginner to try to find paints that are already ready to pour. And then I can eventually start gathering uh, and trying my own pouring medium. But right now I want to make it simple for myself. So I have some ready to pour paints and um, I started out with some um, artist loft that was ready to pour and those are good for beginners for practice. Um, but if you're going to start selling your pieces, you want to get some better quality paint. So um, I moved up to um, Boom Gel, which is this one here. This is already made ready to pour and it's my favorite. I absolutely love, love, love it. Um, and they have two different lines. They have their, their flat colors, their base colors, and then they have this pearlescent line. So they have a lot of colors that have a pearlescent hue to them. And today I am using their pearlescent pearl, which is, you know, obviously a white pearl. So I'm using that with Mixed Media Girls Primary Red. So, and it makes, you can't see it on the camera, but it has this beautiful um, shimmer to it. And it's really super pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the last two coasters. I'm gonna have you guys watch why I do them. So I'm gonna move that one off to the side. And kind of an important thing when you are doing your pieces, whether it's on canvas or tile, is you wanna work on a level surface. This, this is pretty darn level. So obviously your level surface is between the two double lines and it is between there. So I am level, but you will still see your paint move. So you know, just work with it, right? So I'm gonna put my base down and I'm gonna put enough to cover my whole thing since what I am doing is what we call a balloon kiss. So it looks like I'm putting a lot of paint on there, but not a lot comes up right there, but I wanna cover the whole thing um, because with the balloon kiss you don't have to um, um, you're not necessarily tilting enough to get it off the edges um, and when I spin it it's not going to do a whole lot to take a lot of the paint off so I am going to go ahead and cover this right now And if the video is not too, too long, um, if I have some pretty spillover, which I usually do, um, I'm gonna show you what I do with those. 
the spillover is obviously the extra paint that goes on your surface here, down here. So I make jewelry, I make um, car protectors because I'm, I'm also a poker player. Um, so you gotta protect your cards when you're at the table. So I make um, card protectors, uh, which have been very popular. I make magnets, I make jewelry, I make paperweights. Um, so there's lots of things you, you, you don't have to waste your paint. It's, um, you know, cause paint's not cheap. Um, you don't want to use cheap paint. Um, so I do reuse this and I'm hoping that I get some color on it and you can always add color to it. So, um, okay, let's get down to it. This is the fun part. All right. So I am doing what we call a balloon kiss. And what you're doing is you take a simple, ordinary balloon and you're gonna dip it on the paint. So let's give it a go. All right, let me see if I wanna do, I think I do want to put a little bit of black down first. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my color down. And then I'm also going to do a technique, what they call wrecking. And that's when you take a, an object, whether it's this, I use a skewer, it's a wood skewer. And you take it and you swirl around and you'll see when I get to that point. Now I'm gonna, gonna put a little bit of pearl. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a little bit more red. I should have this in a controlled um, bottle, but. Okay. And then I'm gonna put a little dab of the pearl white on top of that. It's kind of nice because on these tiles you don't need a whole lot of paint. Okay, now I'm gonna take my torch and I'm gonna get rid of the bubbles. But you have to be careful because you don't want to burn your paint. Done that before. Okay. So then you're going to take your balloon, hopefully you can see this okay, and you're just going to give it what they call the kiss. Now, don't panic. It's like, oh my god, all the color is gone. It's not. It just got pushed down a little bit, and we're going to bring it back. Just wipe it off before I dip each time. Okay, so it looks like, oh my gosh, all my paints are gone. Hmm. No, we're gonna take this handy dandy little blower. I like this one because it's um, battery operated and I think you can also charge it um, with your phone or something or uh, phone cord. But it doesn't give out a whole lot of air, but it's enough for something like this. So I'm gonna move these around a bit and when I do that, it's going to bring that color out underneath. Okay. I mean, these are pretty already because it had some nice cells. And that would be from the pearls. I'm just going to wake it up. Wakey, wakey. And move it around a little bit. Okay. So it's like, okay, yeah, that looks okay. But this is where the magic comes in. You take your little skewer and this is the wrecking part. So you just start making designs um, and you can bring in the two and you just, you can incorporate the three so they don't look separated. This kind of looks like a rose from my perspective. You 
just gotta gotta play with it. It's so so much fun and a great stress reliever. <laughs> of course, when you do this, there is some stressful, stressful times. And if you feel like it's stressful, you need to walk away and come back to it. Because this is meant to be fun. So, and then you also don't want to over wreck it. I think that's pretty good. And I think I'm gonna leave it. Okay, so I'm gonna give it another torch in case we cause any more bubbles. And what's nice is that um, each one of these coasters is a little different. So this particular technique doesn't really cause any extra paint per se. Because when you do a um, a pour, usually any kind, you've got major drippage. So, but I think I might, when I'm done, add a little bit of red and pearl into that and then dip it. So that would be really pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take it to the spinner. Um, and I don't have my camera set up to, um, to watch the spinner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause you and bring you back after I spin it. So, be right back. Okay, so here we are after, I just did a couple spins, one each direction, so one clockwise, one counterclockwise. And you can see how pretty that looks. So it blended it very nicely and that's kind of what the tilting does. So I don't know if you can see that pearl and shimmer, it's so, so pretty. So, so pretty. So, what I'm going to do is, I kind of did it after I took it off the spinner, but I take this little tool here, you can use a skewer, um, you can use any end, you just want to make sure that you wipe off your drippage, but I did do it over there, but I will come back and have to do it in a few minutes, because you don't want any drippage. So, I'm going to go put this one over here to dry with my other two this is a gorgeous set a gorgeous set um, when I'm done I making all four I'll, we'll come down and take a look a closer look and see if I can't get some of that pearl to show up on camera so all right so we have one more to go all right one more all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this one up. It feels like I have a clumpy clump. Sometimes these will clump. So all you do is you take your nice little skewer here and feed it through. And there it is, that's your clump right there. So I actually have skewers that are skinnier. And it just feeds it right through. There's your gunk. There's your goopity goop. Okay. So you just get rid of that goop because you do not want that in your paint. And I probably could just make it easier on myself and just put some more paint. So I want enough to cover my whole tile. So let's see, I think we might have enough here. Makes it easier to 
pinch the sides and save some of the paint from running off. Okay, and then you just take your fingers and do the sides. And then I go ahead and wipe the bottom just to not let that dry while I'm doing my piece. Okay. Make sure I'm still in frame. Yep. Okay. So. All right. So we are going to put just. I need this back on. All right, this one I'm going to try to do something a little different. I think I'm going to do, well, no, because I'm doing a balloon pour, so, I mean a balloon kiss, so I probably should stick to it. All right. A little bit of the red. I'm not going to worry about the drippage because it's all going to be Incorporated. Okay. And a little bit of negative space, really. Um, when I'm done with this one, you probably notice that. This, these colors, I put a black base, um, just the red, and then just the white. But when it was all done, I had pinks and grays and what appeared to be kind of silver, which is so cool. Hey! Okay, so we're going to take the balloon, and I just kind of move it back and forth, and then I am going to wipe it off here. Move it just around a little bit, and I might bring some of that color over there. And then I wipe it, I wipe it off each time. So, this one I'm going to try to bring it back. Okay, so that looks nice and simple. And it's kind of cool because I did not use any silicone. I did not use any cell activator, but I, because of the bloom gel is the kind of a metallic pearl, it's caused these beautiful cells. So um, I, I love it. I don't even know if I wanna, well, it's gotta kind of be, I want them all to kind of look consistent, so I'm just going to go ahead and blow it around. And I'm going to try to bring, leave some of that pearl. And I'm going to try when, when I get done with this one. Um, I am going to try to bring it out into the sun. So you can see the beautiful shimmer. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cover this. really love this red. It's a pretty red. It goes beautiful with this pearl. Okay, so now I'm going to do my little embellishments. So we just got to let it kind of talk to you, you know? Just, it's a nice little added touch. It looks like a spider web here, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay. 
very pretty. Loving it. not happy with that little area okay this looks obscene so we're gonna get rid of that all right so just play around with it until you're happy with it I'm very happy with this okay so I'm gonna pause you for a minute I'm gonna take it to the spinner, just give it a couple spins. Okay, this looks like a drippage, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that a swirly whirl. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of the bubbles. Okay. All right, I'm gonna give it a couple spins on the spinner and I will be right back. Okay, so this one has been spun. It doesn't have as much negative space on there, but it does have some black, so I'm okay with it. So, look how pretty that is. I love it. So simple. And see what I was talking about with, yeah, I'm just using the white pearl and a red. Now we have some pink in there, some silver, some gray, and of course the black, the red, and the white and it looks beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this one down and I'm gonna bring you down to see all four of them together. And then we're gonna go outside and see what it looks like in the sun. Okay, so here are the four coasters we did. So that was the first one. There's our second one. I think that one's my favorite. And then our third. And then our fourth. All of these turned out beautifully and I'm so, so happy with them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line these up here and then I'm gonna take you outside in the sun to show you how gorgeous they are in the sun. Let's take my favorite one out there. So, I don't know if you can see, I think if I turned on my flash you might be able to see, but we're going to go out in the sun, some natural light. Let me see if I can see that shimmer. And, uh, Still kind of hard to see but there is some beautiful shimmer very happy with how the oh ooh, see that look at that one right there look at that oh yeah beautiful so so happy with these so and I think somebody will be very, very happy with these coasters. Please excuse my desk area. I do have a puppy pad down there. So, I am thinking about it. Let me show you something real quick. Okay, so here is my area after my pour, which <laughs> this is very minimal as far as what we have, as far as spill off. So off of the coasters, the extra paint, I'm very proud of myself because there's very little here. Um, but what we have here obviously is our red, our white, and our black. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of embellishment to make it look prettier. Kind of like what we did with, with the coasters. We're just gonna kind of make it pretty. Because I'm going to show you what I do here. Um, so what I do is I just do some embellishments to make it look pretty. 
And then what I have here is a glass, what they call a glass capuchon. Um, these are what I use for card protectors. So these are kind of, you can get these really cheap and they have, they do have sometimes cracks in them and bubbles, but when you put your paint in there, it kind of looks kind of cool. So I do have clear glass cabochons for my jewelry, uh, for paperweights and such. So what I do is I take this and I take the flat side. So there's your flat side and you kind of line it up to a spot in the paint and then you just kind of press it in there and then what you have is that so I didn't get a whole lot I have an area that's and what I do is I can go back in and dip that area that didn't pick up paint for, for whatever reason I can just give it a second a second dip and sometimes it's ah Oh my gosh I might have just I just ruined it I stepped it down in the paint I mean in the on the thing now I don't have any color Ugh, crap I'm gonna have to cut this piece <laughs> well so much for that but that is how I do my cabochon so that was a boo-boo so I may just take I don't think I have enough enough paint here to bring out the red no it's too dark um, Let's see if we can't create some. I'm gonna put some paint. Let me just keep the color. Okay. And then I'm gonna bring in a little red. I mean a little white. Oop. So much for a little. Alright, so maybe we'll focus on this area. So you just kind of take it and you just make your designs. It's kind of hard with the puppy pad because it's a cloth, cotton kind of. I might have to cut this, edit this part of the video. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty, pretty. Okay, so I have a really pretty area right there. So I'm going to take this. And I just wiped it off. And then when the time comes, when it all it, it's dry or boy, it's still wet, I can clean off the sides. So, again, we have our clear cabochon. And I'm going to dip it right in here. Ooh, look at that. That is beautiful. And that, my friends, is a car protector. So, this is hard to do one handed. So, there it is on the back side. Just going to make sure my, my edges are, are all covered. And then, what I do. Just dip it in a little bit of paint, make sure my edges. Um, then what I do is I let that dry. And then I will put a felt backing on it. And I have a car protector. That is my favorite way to do the jewelry and car protectors and paperweights. Um, I do bookmarks and such. That is the easiest way to me instead of doing a, a skin, which is letting this dry, peeling it off, and then cutting out. I, 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 to me, that's tedious. I just dip it in the wet, let it dry, and then put the felt on it. So that is it for me today, and I would like to thank you for hanging in there. And hopefully you um, enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. Um, if you want to continue to watch videos that I bring out, please hit the subscribe button. And if you hit the little bell, it will notify you of a new video. Again, my name is Sharon with Inky Spirits. You can find me on Facebook at Inky Spirits or on Instagram at Inky Spirits 613. Thank you so much and have a great day.